Fisher. Uh, that's the district number one. And uh, I am not, right now I'm not coming here. I'm going to miss big consolidation. First, I want to put consolidation on the back burner. And Ms. Allen has said everything to say about saying no to consolidation. But as for me, uh, the members of the QA, they send their children to private schools. And then they are meddling in the situation in the city school system as to say, well, well, we send our children to the private school, but we do not respect public education. But let me uh, put some issues out that cures should have put in mind. Let's bring it on down to ground level. Cures should have considered that our school system is not the best as it could be, and we are not where we want to be. But in speaking about our school system, Cures should have looked at the issues that our school system yet remains uh, segregated. Our administration, our faculty, we are segregated. We do not have the ethnicity representative in our administrative office, our classroom. And that is one thing they should put the energy in and making sure that we have followed the federal guidelines of how we can go about to desegregate our schools properly. And another thing, I would like Hewitt to have done some research to look into the school system and, <coughs> excuse me, and give us pointers on how can we equally educate all of our child. How can we educate each child? How can we teach them to pass the test without patting the schools to say, Patting the test and saying we made AYP, but you know that is a criminal offense. And other than that, we need to remove our students from the jail to the classroom.